residents have either lost their homes or have been displaced. Volunteers are going the extra mile to help those in need, but also dealing with some who don't actually need assistance. CBS 13's Mugo Udigwe is live in Chico with the latest on evacuations. Mugo. We're outside East Avenue Church, and even though it's dark out, there's still some activity out here. Now, this is a shelter for evacuees. Volunteers tell me they've had to deal with theft, but then there are others out here going out of their way to help out. We have a nine month pregnant woman with no prenatal care. We have babies here. Some call them the angels among us. In three or four days, we formed an entire medical team where we have med runners. We've created charts on every single patient. Nurses like Vigita Randall are working tirelessly to help those affected by the campfire. We have a patient in a parking lot that has end stage lung disease. We have a patient who's living in their truck and he has a trach. But some of the patients here at the East Avenue Church Shelter need more help than the church and volunteer nurses can. Can give. For example, one of them needs a bariatric bed. Somewhere with more 24 hour care that can be, watch him and take care of him. These people are going to be displaced for the next six months, a year, or longer. I want to have a medical team meeting. Is that cool? By these people, Randall is also referring to herself. I lost my house and my job in a day. Randall and her mother, both nurses, fled from Feather River Hospital in Paradise as the fire damaged parts of the building. Instead of looking for shelter or help, they started looking for people to help. So we came here and said we're nurses, the three of us, and I thought they were all going to cry. It hasn't been easy since they arrived. They've had to deal with people posing as evacuees and a lack of medical supplies, but they say they'll continue to do the best they can. The population in paradise is elderly and with chronic health issues, and we have no medical team. This is just us volunteering. The one thing they do need is a pharmacist to help write prescription medications. They say if you are out there, show up. Mugo D.